Hey guys, so today I have a collective fall fashion haul. I got some new clothes for the cooler months that I wanted to show you guys so I could give you guys some ideas on, you know, stuff to pair together and that kind of stuff. But really, this is just like a collective haul over some things I needed for the fall. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with American Eagle. It's one of my favorite stores, as you guys probably know. Most of my hauls always consist of American Eagle because I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It like captures my style perfectly. So I got a bunch of tops from there. I really needed like some, um, not long sleeve tops, but just like when it kind of cools off a little bit. So the first thing I got is this graphic t-shirt. It says, come as you are. It's kind of like a three quarter length sleeve and it's super soft. I just thought this was really cute. I don't have a ton of graphic tees. I really like them, but sometimes I don't like when they say like American Eagle, Aeropostale, that kind of stuff. I think it looks kind of tacky. So I like stuff like this um, and it's really nice quality, it's super soft. Um, and it's just kind of like that three quarter length sleeve. So it's perfect um, between like fall and summer when it's not too cold yet, but you just need something that's gonna you know, keep you a little warm when it gets a little chilly. So I love this and it's super soft. They have a bunch of different prints. Okay, so the next t-shirt I got is another uh, longer sleeve one. And this is a very pretty like baby pink one and it has this kind of silver heart on the front and it says love. And I just love the way, I love the way that this fits. It looks super cute on and it's kind of longer cut in the front than it is in the back and I think on it's super flattering and it looks really, really cute. Again, it's just kind of a fun little t-shirt to throw on with jeans or um, even like a denim skirt and a scarf. I just thought it was really cute. Okay, so the next shirt that I got, I've worn this one a couple times. I got this last month. They still have it there. Um, this is one of my favorite tops, it's super cute. Um, it's this kind of like maroon, burgundy color and it has these really pretty embroidered roses on the front and it's kind of pleated and then it buttons in the back. So this is so, so cute. I've worn this with just skinny jeans and some short boots. It would even look really cute with like light pink skinny jeans, but I love this kind of oxblood color. This was really popular last fall, um, but I just love the kind of vintage look that it has. Um, and I'll zoom you guys in so you can see what that looks like, but it's just kind of embroidered on the front. Um, and I thought this was really cute for the fall. Okay, so the next top that I got is kind of like a flowy, boxy kind of top. It's this kind of navy blue, gray, purple, kind of pink color scheme. Um, and it's just kind of one of those flowy tops. It's kind of a boxy cut. Um, and it's just kind of like a floral print. I thought this would look, of course, really cute with skinny jeans and stuff. Um, and I like these kind of flowy tops because they're really nice to throw like a sweater on over the top and they're super, super comfortable. Um, and then down the back, it has a split in it. Um, I don't know if you, yeah, it has a split down the back, which I think is really cute. So, um, got this. I think this would be perfect for skinny jeans, even with like light pink skinny jeans. And I really like this kind of color scheme. So I thought that was really cute. And then the last top that I got, this was on sale um, for super cheap. I forgot, I already took the price tag off of it. Um, but this is just kind of like an oatmeal colored sweater. It's super casual, it's kind of loose and comfy, um, and it's long sleeve. And I thought this was so, so cute. It comes in a ton of colors. Um, I just got this kind of like oatmeal kind of color because I can wear it with a bunch of stuff. Um, and this was on sale. I got it in a size medium. Oh no, I got it in a size small, I'm sorry. I got it in a size small. I'm usually an extra small in American Eagle, but um, these run really tight in the arms. So if you do get one, I would probably go a size up because these sweaters, um, they're kind of baggy anyway. So going a size up doesn't really hurt, but they run really tight in the arms unless I have gigantic arms compared to my body, which I don't think I do. So I would definitely go a size up in this if you do check out. Okay, so moving on to jeans. I got three pairs of jeans. Um, these were on sale as well. These are kind of like a cropped, um, light wash denim. They're kind of like a boyfriend jean, but I thought they were really cute. I don't have anything like this. I usually wear skinny jeans or boot cut jeans. I have a ton of skinny jeans. So I thought this was different. It's called the artist crop. Um, and it just says like low rise, slim cuff leg. Um, they come about halfway down. They're really, really cute. Um, and I even think like the boyfriend jeans look really good with like wedge booties or short boots. Um, and just kind of like a flannel shirt kind of cuffed up. I think it's really, really cute. So I got these just to have something different. Okay, then I got a pair of jeggings. These are kind of what I always 
buy when I buy jeans. I really like skinny jeans. Um, and these are some distressed skinny jeans. Um, yeah, they're really cute, just kind of basic. Um, I don't have anything this wash and with that much distressing on it, so I wanted some really distressed ones. I love distressed jeans. I think it just gives a really cool, kind of like worn in vintage look to an outfit. So I got those. Okay, then the last pair of jeans that I got, I'm super, super excited about. These are Paisley print skinny jeans. I know they're kind of crazy. They're not gonna be for everyone, but I love them. I think they are so much fun. They kind of remind me of the 70s, something like that. So they're kind of hipstery, um, but I think they're really cool. Um, they're kind of like a light faded blue and light pink kind of color. Um, and I think this would look really good with like kind of like a big comfy sweater and some boots and like a knit beanie that's just kind of my vision I have for it or even just like a white t-shirt a white button down kind of cuffed up I think this would look so so cute so I'm really excited for that okay moving on I went to Hollister I needed like some sweatpants really bad I really like to wear sweatpants to school I don't know if you guys do I think it looks okay and you can totally dress up sweatpants like wear them with like a flowy top and some nice sandals like they do in the Abercrombie ads and you got yourself an outfit so I got two pairs of cropped um, just their classic cropped sweatpants these were on sale as well these were on sale I think for I want to say under $30 because they are originally 40 so these are super soft they're amazing quality Hollister and Abercrombie they're the same thing basically make my favorite sweatpants they are just so comfortable and they last really, really well. And they they just fit really well. All their pants fit me really well. So if you have problems finding jeans and sweatpants, I would definitely check out Hollister or Abercrombie. So I just got those in gray as well. Um, and again, I usually don't wear sweatpants just around the house. I wear them out, but I'll kind of like wear maybe a plaid flannel with it. Uh, cuff up the sleeves and then maybe wear like some Converse or some Sperry's so it doesn't look as sloppy as just throwing on a baggy t-shirt and sweatpants. You still feel just as comfortable but you look a little bit more pulled together if that makes sense. So that's kind of like how I like to wear sweatpants. Okay, then this last thing is super random. Um, I walked into J. Crew after I got that stuff and J. Crew is so expensive to be honest guys. I don't really buy stuff there. I just buy stuff on sale there. So I found these socks and some of you are gonna think I'm crazy, but they're these neon pink socks. Like in my viewfinder, they're so neon, they look baby pink. Um, they're these neon pink printed socks, and I thought these would be so cute under my combat boots. Let me show you guys. Huh? Huh? I know. Some people are gonna think that's kind of weird, but I was really excited about these. I kind of freaked out. They were like $6 on sale at J. Crew. They had a bunch of different prints, but of course I went with the neon pink and I thought these look so cute layered under short boots or even Oxfords with like a flowy skirt. And I just think it adds such kind of like a geeky kind of cute look to an outfit. So I got those, that was super random, but that is it. Sorry, I forgot this scarf I got at American Eagle. Now I got this on sale. I think it was on sale for $18. Their scarves can be really expensive sometimes, like up in the 30s. Yeah, this was, a, this was originally 25, I got it for 18, so not, not too bad. Um, it's just this really pretty light pink, kind of has this bright orangey red going throughout it and like an indigo blue. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And it's just like a long basic scarf. And I thought this would look super cute with that light tan sweater um, or even just like a white t-shirt, jeans and boots. Um, and I love scarves because they're an instant way to change up an outfit and they can go with so many different outfits so for $18 you can get a bunch of different looks out of it that's what I love about scarves and they last forever so just looks like that super cute it's kind of big and I, I love it and I mean you can tie it a bunch of different ways and like a good thing about getting scarves to add to your accessories is they're gonna last like things like pants even like a statement pair of pants or a statement shirt is not gonna last you forever I mean you're probably not gonna be the same size jeans forever but a scarf no one can go wrong with a scarf. Do you, do you see what I mean? So 
definitely stuck up on your scarves. Okay guys, so that is it for my fashion haul. I'm kind of out of the swing on things I'm filming videos, so that's probably why I'm acting so weird today, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of fashion videos you guys wanna see for fall. Um, if you wanna see like outfits on, or if you kinda just wanna see like my fall must-haves, I think I really just wanna do like a fall must-haves video, so let me guys know down below. I'll leave all my links in the down bar. Don't forget to check out my blog, Beauty and Bananas. I'll leave that linked down below. And I hope you guys have a great start of fall, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.